So I'm sure you've all watched the video on acceleration, so you need to know what period of time it's over. So we have the acceleration time period video, which just means the time at which you're measuring the acceleration. Is it a week? Is it a month? Is it a day? Probably not an hour, because you have to do a lot of damn recording then, because you have to have rate of responding included. So, uh, so when we think about the acceleration time period, you got to think about the context in what you're doing, the behavior that you're working with, right? So, you know, you have to get that rate of responding first. So how long is are we going to track this behavior, this change for? How long are we going to let this organism learn, this person learn? Um, whatever it is we're trying to get them to learn. Um, so you think of it as, um, you could think reading fluency, right? So we could track a kid's reading fluency improvement or lack of improvement over time using a using the acceleration procedure. But um, that time period that we're tracking, maybe a term, right, would be the acceleration time period. I'm really dragging this out because it's really was done in the first two seconds of the video. So it's just the time that you track the acceleration for. Bye.